Man, this chicken can really take some abuse. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into The Legend of Princess, which is actually a, an unofficial fan-made game, which is uh, replicating a semi-popular NES game that you may have heard about before. The actual creator of this, Konjak, their description of this game on their website says, a parody fan game taking inspiration from a particular game by some unknown company and making a single level arcade interpretation of it. So maybe you can make some guesses based on the sound effects or whatever. Um, this, uh, in this game, you take control of a green tunic hero called Bind, uh, who's set to rescue a princess from the Dirt Temple. So anyway, um, we will be checking this game out. Obviously, it's a riff off Legend of Zelda. Um, there's only one level to play through here, but there's different items that you can play through with, and you can make nine possible combinations. We'll just kind of go in pairs. So we'll go through... Um, you can be armed with birds and chickens. You can be armed with a boomerang and a feather, or you can be armed with a bow and arrow and a grapple, and that's how we'll do things. And uh, without further ado, let's give this thing a shot um, and see what we can see. So obviously this is, uh, as I say, uh, an arcade version of The Legend of Zelda, a side-scrolling version of The Legend of Zelda. And when I read that, so we don't normally play fan games or unofficial games on my channel. We do once in a while, like we did with uh, we did with Super Mario Brothers crossover and stuff like that. So like once in a while, we will play these like unofficial games. Uh, but most of the time we go with retro games. But this is an interesting case of a game that's like, it's unofficial, but it is kind of retro in spirit. Um, and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I think this game is... Um, oh yeah, by the way, so the feather lets you double jump. hi -oh! And the boomerang you can throw. I haven't been throwing it, but I will start throwing it so you guys can see how it goes. Oh, we have like a boss level here. Let's kill these guys. Oh, and if you press down, if you press down, you can block things with your shield. Boom, boomerang, buddy. Those bad guys look so sad. I feel bad killing them. They just look like they're they're sad about their existence. Oh, what are these things? Let's kill these things too. Uh, the, this game controls great, by the way. My only complaint is Link kind of moves a little too fast. Like I, I wouldn't mind if he moved a little slower, actually. Open the chest. Oh, look at all the rupees! All oh, the rupees! Yes. Um. Anyway, this is what I would imagine um, a, a true sequel to Zelda 2 would be like. You guys remember? So on Zelda 2. That was a game on the NES. It was the second Zelda game ever. And that was a side-scrolling game. Um, it was very different than... Ooh, we found a secret chest. Ooh, we got 500 rupees in uh, in paper form, I guess. Hey, ooh. What's up here? Anything? Nothing. I think we just killed a guy there, too. We jump up here. Oh, look, there's a, a secret chest there, too. I think we need one of the other items to get it. Or maybe we do like this. No. I know the like grapple thing is is like uh, lets you like grapple ceilings and stuff. So maybe we'll get that chest in another run here because we're gonna try with all the different items because we only got one level to play through. Uh, but yeah, this this strikes me as like what a sequel to Zelda 2 would have been like, which is kind of actually cool. Like it kind of feels like Game Boy Advance style graphics, you know. So like Zelda 2. I know it's not many people's favorite Zelda game, but I actually really like the fact that it's so different. You know, like, I do I do like that Zelda games are top-down games generally. Um, in fact, I like that more usually than the uh, 3D games, the 3D Zelda games on, like, N Nintendo 64 and later. I I'm not a huge fan of those. Just not a huge fan of Zelda in the 3D. Um, so, you know, if you don't like Zelda in the 2D, that's fine as well. But I think most, most people... Oh, look at this. It's like, what do I do with this? Oh, I have to light these three. Oh, there we go. There's even some light puzzle solving. This is awesome. If this was an arcade game in arcades back in the day, I totally would have played this. Um, oh, what is this? Ooh, a key. Which door? Okay, left or right? Let's go in the left door, I guess. And then maybe we'll go in the right door the next time. Oh, God. I'm just, like, getting owned by this stupid, stupid thing. Get out of here. God, die already. You thing and thing. 
Anyway, I lost my train of thought, but uh, long story short, I like the idea of a, of a follow-up to Zelda 2, having a 2D Zelda game. You know, I've always liked that Zelda is a top-down game because it separates it from Mario. I think if it, if it was just... Wait, how do I go down? Can I go down here? Ugh, I, I want to try and... There we go. Go down. There we go. Boom. Get this thing. Oh, we got a fairy, too. The fairy heals me. Um, yes, yeah, so by the way, you can you can sort of stomp downwards. <laughs> God, I'm getting owned here. This is crazy. Maybe I won't pass this. We will we will legit have to come back and, and try this again. Oh my god. Get out of the water! Link! You fool! See, okay, so this is the thing where he moves a little too fast and it's actually kind of hard to control him. Can I just kill these guys? Oh, I think I killed him. I killed one of them anyway. And I missed, I missed, I missed the heart. Okay, just kill him. There we go, get his heart. There we go. Okay, so those guys can be killed. So here we go. Huh, huh. Oh my god, that's actually a really tricky jump. Okay, we got it. Now what do we do? Um, I guess what we want is to light this thing on fire somehow. Hold on. Can we, can we go back here and light this? Okay. And we go, huh. And we go, huh. That opens a secret. Of some kind. Or it does nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Alright, well, whatever. But well, we, we lit a candle, and that's good enough for us. Um, but yeah, I like that Zelda was its own thing. But that said, I think the idea of like a 3D Zelda is pretty cool. Um, or, or 2D Zelda is pretty cool. And I, I, for one, would not have minded if this game was a full game on, say, like, uh, Game Boy Advance or something like that. So... Um, although, oddly enough, it's like, I wouldn't mind another 2D Zelda game, but like a, a 3D Mario's is kind of not my cup of tea either. Or, either, Guys, I, I'm totally a product of my generation, you know, like, I, w in my day, Zelda was a top-down game and Mario was a 2D side-scrolling game. I don't know about what happens when you take all these franchises and you make them 3D. It's, uh, you know, the old man in me just finds it weird and confusing. And uh, I don't like things that are weird and confusing. Huh. I like that you can still like break all these jars. It's pretty satisfying. So this game is very fast paced. I, I, I think, you know, in addition to your character moving quickly, you feel a little slippery. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if things slowed down a little bit. So I like the fact that they made like a fast paced, you know, upgraded version of Zelda. But I would not mind if things slowed down just a tad, just a tad. Um, oh, I know what we have to do. We have to get him to light this candle, too. Boom. And then now we can attack him. Ah, you've been revealed. Man, this is an awesome boss fight. I love how there's, like, you kind of have to, like, uh, kind of, like, outthink him. Yeah, how do we do this? Uh, what do we do here? Oh, maybe I reflect it? Nope. <laughs> I tried to reflect it. It just goes right through me. Oh, we can, by the way, charge up our, our sword. So we can do like uh, charged attacks. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing. What do we do against this guy? This is so confusing. I don't want to ha necessarily have to like look up a. Oh, we got him! We got him somehow. Yes, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to have to look up a tutorial. I don't know how that worked, but it kind of did. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get him to try and light the candles for us. One. And two. Man, this is like a really well thought out fan game. Like imagine, imagine going to all the trouble of programming a game and like to the point where like, you know you're not even gonna sell it or anything. You're just doing it like as a hobby, like just cause you can. Like that, that is that is the ultimate show of skill and ability. That's like the Joker, you know, like the Joker in the Dark Knight. He's like, you, you know, to the other criminals, he's like, all you're doing this for is money. You know, uh, this town deserves a better class of criminal. And uh, and that's like his thing. It's like, he's he's not a criminal for the money. He doesn't care about the money. In the same way, like whoever programmed this was not doing it for the money. They were doing it because I don't know why they were doing it, but they were doing it <laughs> for a reason. And they made like, like wow, what, what a great level. Is that it? Is that all? Uh, we get to open one more chest. Yes, all the hearts. Man, I wish there was more levels. I hope there's more. Is that it? hey -oh. What are these things, by the way? These, like, chandelier things. I feel like those are special somehow. No secrets over here. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, we get another key. Oh, we have to do both rooms. Man, 
This, I would say this is more than one level. This is like multiple levels. Um, look, we have to push this block onto this switch. Boom, and we unlock a secret. I like that. Let's see what, let's see what's going on down here. Hey, oh, joke's on you, one-eyed jumper guy. Those are like the tech tights or whatever from Legend of Zelda. So these are all the, uh, all the characters from the, the first Legend of Zelda. Isn't it interesting, by the way, how like, so Zelda 1, you know, uh, The Legend of Zelda, the first one, was a top-down game. And then the sequel was kind of weird. It was like a side-scroller. Super Mario Bros. 1 was a game where you're killing, like, Goombas and Koopas and all this stuff. Um, and then the sequel was kind of weird, where you were, you know, like, in Dreamland, Subcon, and you were, like, fighting Wart and stuff like that. Like, isn't it kind of interesting just to think how... Um, the second entry in Nintendo's flagship franchises, Zelda or Mario, were weird, you know? Uh, like, Mario 3 is debatably more similar to Mario 1 than Mario 2 is at all. Um, oh, get away from me, you evil zombie hand. Get out of here. This is kind of a, What an interesting mechanic, too. This guy didn't just invent levels, but he invented, like, unique, interesting mechanics. Oh, no, he's stealing my block! No, get away! Get away from the block! Get away from the block. Get away from the block. I will mess you up, hand. I will mess you up. Oh, no. How do I do this? Oh, I have to go around. Whoa. Crazy. Get away from my block. Um, how do I... How do I do this? The block, like, won't move now. I can't push it. Let's stun this hand. Do I have to, like, really mess up this hand? Hold on. Let, let's just go and... Let, let's, like, murder this hand. Let's get this thing out of here. What do you want? I will send you back to the giant that you fell off. There's just a giant hand floating around here. Any of you guys notice this? Um, can I do anything? Okay, the block is clearly stuck. Let's see what happens when the hand has its way with the block. What's gonna happen? Okay, he steals my block, and I bet he takes it back up to the very top. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Man, I'm looking forward to not having to deal with the feather. So the feather is okay. It gives you like a double jump, but it is not that great, to be totally honest. It's it it's like the least good, I think, of the three options. Although I think the chicken is just kind of weird. I don't know if it's like good or not, but it's just kind of weird. All right, get away from me. Get away from me. I will mess you up. I like how you can like hit him from behind. <laughs> like I wasn't even aiming at him. Get away, get away, get away. All right. Yo. Get away, get away. That was weird that the block got stuck. It was almost like he touched it. And because he had touched it, it was like I, I couldn't do anything with it. Um, get, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Have to go over here this way. Boom. Yeah, so both Zelda 2 and Mario 2 were like the weird, the weird entries. That's just kind of weird. I wonder what was going on in Nintendo. I guess you know what it's like. Basically, what happened is they like hadn't developed their franchises enough yet to even know what kind of games they were. So they were like still experimenting a lot, and so they were just trying to like figure stuff out. They didn't know that Zelda were going to be top-down uh, adventure games for the most part. Uh, and oh, what the heck? Interesting. So there's a chest there that you can get if you're clever enough. Boom. <laughs> Look at the reflective effects, too. That's pretty cool. Let's charge our, our sword up. Yeah. We're not doing enough charge attacks. You just start doing these. Take advantage. Full advantage. That That is Link's thing. He can, like, charge up his sword. What happened? The game froze. The game totally froze. What the heck? No! We, we almost passed the level. We had 640 feathers. Or something. Oh my god, it's it's totally frozen. Okay, well I guess that's as far as we get on our first run. I do want to try this game with all the other items. So I guess let's just switch over to the uh, to the next set here. All right, we are back. We successfully reset the game. Let's try this time with a bow and arrow and a hook shot. And you guys can see the difference in gameplay that uh, that is achieved. So with the hook shot. Oh wait, that's the bow and arrow. Yeah, eat it, Octorok, or whatever the heck you are. Uh, let's kill this guy, too. Off you go. The hook shot, you can hook your way around, and you can, like, swing around like Spider-Man. Look at this. 
This is way better than the feather. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the to this. And we can just like clearly kill these guys. The bow and arrow is so much better than the boomerang too. I guess the boomerang has its uses. Um, but the bow and arrow feels like more powerful. Um, it just like damages and destroys these guys so much more quickly. So uh, yeah, I will take it. I will take it. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, why is the double jump not working? But I, uh, I had to do that, so there we go. I have to get used to the fact that I don't have the bow and arrow anymore, or uh, I feel like, I wish you could reflect these. Let's just kill this guy. I have to get used to the fact that I don't have the bow and arrow, otherwise I will mess up. Come on, you want some? Ah, oh, he like hit me. That's unfair. Let's uh, jump down on this guy. Oh God, hold on. Come on. Oh. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jumping down on the guys is like not super effective because like you don't always kill them and then you land on them and then you're taking damage because you're like sitting right beside them. So anyway, it's it's a risky a risky move. Ow! Kill this guy too. What is this red block here? Like I I want to know. I want to know. Can I break this? Can I break this? No. Okay. Uh, let's go up. There we go. Okay, so here's where we can probably swing over to that hidden chest. Remember that hidden chest, guys? This is where we can probably make that happen. I love how you can just bust the wall there and like find the secret, it's so cool. Okay, so hold on, we go up like this. And then, okay, that was very sloppy. Oh no! Oh my God, did we just miss, did we just miss it? And the chaos of everything that ensued right there? Hold on, can we get out of here? We're totally trapped, aren't we? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, I bet that hidden chest just had uh, like rupees or something. They all only have rupees. It's not like there is any like secret items or anything that we could possibly miss. The, the hook shot actually, so the, I find the double jump was actually more intuitive, but the hook shot here, I'm having to think more about these double jumps and I'm like doing a worse job of it. So this guy and kaboom, uh, I wanted to do the, uh, Charged attack. Boom! Nope, nothing. And how are you supposed to kill this guy normally? He's like a crazy robot. <laughs> you just like beast mode your way through? I guess you can just shoot him with uh, arrows. Yeah, that works. Um, I feel like I did a, a charge there. Oh, that's uh, charging your shot, letting go. I thought I had sort of like a Pegasus boots attack there where I like charged at one of the enemies. Guess not, though. There we go. That secret's easy. Give me something I don't know. So the first boss that we beat the first time around, was that sort of like a Ganon? I wonder. Um, so we've seen that boss. We're going to go into the hand door here. The door with the giant hand. Talk to the hand. And let's do what we did before. Let's sort of like clear stuff out. I don't want to be fighting these things and the hand. Let's come down here and just like clear all the monsters out. And once we've done that, okay, things are pretty, looking pretty good. So now the idea is to go back and get the get the cube. Oh god, this hook shot is going to be the death of me. Um, how? There we go. Whoa! Jeez. I feel like a very a very incapable Spider-Man. Like, I'm Spider-Man, but I really shouldn't be. I'm gonna, like, charge my shot in case that hand comes. Kabam! You want some hand? Because I'll give you some! Oh, get away, get away. <laughs> my charge shot did nothing. Man, this hand is so annoying. Go away! Go away, don't touch my cube. My precious cube, my companion cube. It's uh, it's totally like an aperture science experiment here. Get out of here! All right, this goes on to this, and I think, I think then we want to like go around. Oh god! Okay, come on, kill you one more time. We go like this, and then we just keep on killing you. Oh my god! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We gotta race this thing. All right, we got it, we got it. Get out of here, hands. I like to imagine there's just some like magical giant out there who's just like totally missing a hand. He's like, where did the, my hand go? I remember having one. 
Seems to be gone now. Kill this thing. Get out of here. And we'll do this. I remember there is a chest here we can get if we uh, let the hand have its way with the thing. So we just got 500 rupees, but now we have to like come back all the way. So that's kind of interesting. Like if you bring the block down, it like locks you off from a chest. Again, there's like a crazy level of attention to detail here in terms of, like little secrets and tricks and stuff. One level, but like the guy who made this level like really thought about it. He's like, I'm not gonna half-ass it. I'm using my whole ass. All right. Is the hand still gonna chase us? Do we have a thousand rupees? Can we just like bribe the hand already? Be like, yo, hand. Cut us some slack, bro. I'll give you a thousand rupees. Just go buy another box. Just get out of here. If you wouldn't mind, you're being a bit of a dick. And you're a hand, so that's that's saying something, man. That's saying something. Alright. Get out of here. And we do this. Didn't we do this already? I forget. It's like this this gate closed on us or something like that. And then we do this one. Yeah, like this gate was open before. Get out, get away! Don't touch my precious box. It's my box and not nobody else's. Boom, there we go. Alright, oh, this stupid robot. What what is that in the Legend of Zelda? I cause I, I don't recognize that. Kill this thing too. I know those Octorok things, and I recognize like the Tektites and the bats and all that stuff. All right, this is where the game froze last time. Luckily, oh my God, it's fr we're fighting Shadow Link. Oh, look at this, he's doing the exact same moves as me. I think I hit him. I think I hit him. Can I shoot, can I shoot arrows at him? No, he blocks him. Ah, oh, you jerk. Wait, how do you beat this guy? This is crazy, okay. In, in the game, in the actual game, I think you just like sit in a corner and duck and attack. How? Oh my god, he's totally gonna kill me! He killed me! What the hell? Oh no, that sucks. Oh, okay, we get to continue. So let's try and kill him a few times here, see if we can get figure this out. But this, this is actually like surprising. It's cool that he comes out of the water. Okay, so that does nothing. Getting too close to him is a bad idea. Okay, having my back face to him is a bad idea. Okay, when you get too close, he just straight up attacks you. What do you, how do you do this? Can you just continue to shoot him with arrows? No, he just continues to blink. Oh, I think I kind of got him. Okay, hold on. So maybe you have to like, Attack him from below? No, he totally killed me again. Okay, hold on. We got this. We got this. I, I'm gonna try jumping above him. This is my strategy. Jump above him, and then attack down onto him. Boom! Did that attack him? Did that hurt him? He's like, just blocking everything! This is ridiculous. Oh, wait. I think when I do my like swing attack into him, I'm hurting him. Oh look, he's using Pegasus shoes on me. Oh, here he goes. You want some of this, don't you buddy? Boom. Okay, so somehow swinging around did it. I don't even know where the guy is right now. Oh, he's like in the shadow realm trying to attack me. What the hell is this shenanigans? Come on, you want some? How do, how do I hurt him? <laughs> I'm like literally fighting my own reflection here. Ow. Okay, I think after he does his attack, then I can do mine. There we go, that's how you do it. Wow, what a creative boss. Wow, this is so cool. Oh no! Oh no! Keep swinging! Swing! The nice thing is we can, uh, if he kills us, we can totally, uh, Oh my god. We can totally uh, continue and try this again. Because now, now that we know how he works. Okay. And we seem to be losing rupees every time we continue, by the way. So, like, now that we know how he works. And, like, look. I It's Shadow Link already in the reflection. That's so cool. They kind of, like, give you a, a preview of, like, what's to come. So you fight Shadow Link. And I'm pretty sure the other boss was Ganon. That's so cool. Man. I, I'm color. I'm so impressed with the developer of this. 
I'm so impressed. There we go. We're, we're rocking him now. He's like nothing. We're just like, we know all his tricks. Kaboom! He's actually not that hard, but he has like multiple phases. And I, I really like that when game bosses sort of have this level of complexity to them. We're like, you kind of have to like use different tricks and skills to like get them. Come on. There you go, right into the wall, buddy. And then he'll shoot arrows at us. We avoid those. Then he goes into the water and tries to attack us from below, but we attack him. Very cool. I love it. I'm loving it. Boom. So we've done we've beaten him twice. So I'm guessing three times. Usually it's like three times in video games where you gotta like beat a boss. He shoots his arrows, we avoid. And then he comes for us. I wonder if you had different weapons. Like, if I had the boomerang, would he have a boomerang? Probably not. I bet he, uh, he just has, he always has the arrows, but boom, we killed Shadow Link. Oh, so cool. So cool. And he just, like, disappears into, like, a puff of red dust. So neat. All right, so now we gotta go kill Ganon. And once we have killed Ganon, uh, then, then we unlock this extra door. I, I wonder if the, it will just, that will be it, and, and Zelda will now be saved. Um, I think I think this is common, by the way, but as a kid, like, did you understand that Legend of Zelda was about the princess? You know, like, I, th I think as a kid, I always assumed Zelda was the, uh, was the dude, was this little, little elf-like man here. Um, I, I did not fully get that, oh god, we can't kill those things, can we? Oh, what the heck? I just found a secret chest, I will take it. Oh, I forgot you can just, like, do this and, like, swing around. Um, killing those water things is gonna be like a big pain in the butt. Maybe I can just, like, not <laughs> say we did. I'm pretty sure there's a secret where if you take... Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna die here on our... Pretty sure there's a secret where if you take that... That, uh, oh god, get up there! Get, get up there! No, the heart! Oh, it disappeared! Why do game, why do things in video games disappear? I'm pretty sure if you take that, uh, this thing right here and you go and you like light the candles. Oh God, I just ruined it. I think you need the feather, but if you like light the uh, the candles all throughout this level, I'm pretty sure it will unlock a secret. Maybe we can, oh my God. I, I really hate these water guys. Oh, get away, get away, get away. Just run, forget it. I hated them in The Legend of Zelda and I hate them here. Luckily hearts are not that hard to come by. I don't know how I'm gonna kill them by the way. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, because we have to kill them in, in this little, like, 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 how am I supposed to kill them? <laughs> I'm, like, shooting arrows, nothing's working. Like, like, okay. Is it just me, or, like, what am I supposed to do here? There we go, I got one. Luckily. Somehow. And he's gone. There we go, we got the other one. I don't know how I did that. It was, it was just luck. We'll kill these things. Oh, there's a heart right there. It's like stuck in the water. Okay. Oh God, get with the, stop shooting your hook in the water, Link. Did I kill it? Oh, there we go. So you can kind of like do a downward thrust and that's how you kill these guys. Jeez, I, I totally missed the feather though. Boom, there we go. Okay. Well, good to know because we're not gonna have the feather in the next run here. Oh, God. So when you land in the water, if you try and jump, you just shoot the hook. That's why I'm constantly shooting the hook in the water. It's actually super annoying because normally in most video games, when you land in water, if you press jump, you will like do like a swim kick upwards. You'll sort of just start to swim up. And I really would have liked to have done that, but I don't know. Th this grappling hook, I'm... Oh, what what is happening? Look at me go! What the hell was that? Oh, my God. I pressed up and attack, and that's what happened. I'm gonna try that again. Let's uh, get him to light this candle here. Oh, what the heck? I just did like a Pegasus, Pegasus attack. Interesting. Ah, there we go, got him. And then we beat the crap out of him. So, okay, up in the top left, I have like a power bar that's, that's charging. I think that bar um, allows me to do like mega attacks. So once I, yeah, once I have charged up my attack, 
and then I release it, it uses that pink bar at the top left that's slowly regenerating. So like, if we charge this up, boom, here we go, Ganon, you want some of this? Oh, that did absolutely nothing. There we go. Okay, that just hurt me. Oh my god, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I'm actually like less effective at fighting him when I try and use my like power moves. And when I just like kick his butt old school style. Ow. Um, I find Ganon here is a lot easier than Shadow Link. Shadow Link was actually quite confusing. Um, especially how you like couldn't attack him at first. It's quite confusing. Actually, I, I guess all the like the mechanics of this boss, how you have to like hit his you have to kind of hit his like blue orb when it's in his hand. It like blows it up and hurts him. That was actually confusing to me when I first fought him too. So I'd say the bosses aren't necessarily super intuitive, but you can figure them out. And this does totally feel like old school NES to me because to, if we're being totally fair, a lot of old school um, NES games, like you, you would have to figure out similarly. Um, and you just sort of, you know, eventually you'd figure out what you're doing, but it would like take you some time. So, all right, we are into like the final stage, guys. The final stage. Okay, there we go, let's get this thing. Look at all the rupees! I wish the chest had something slightly more interesting, to be completely honest, but. Um, oh God, it's a brain of, what? what is that? It's like a brain, a water brain snake. Oh God, it's coming for me, isn't it? Oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, it's shooting out these things. It's gonna keep on shooting at it. I think I heard it. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm fighting. It's like the thing from uh, Abyss, the like alien that was like a, a tube of water. Like, what, what am I fighting here? And am I doing any damage to it? No idea. I think I am. It, 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 it's looking like I'm damaging it. Watch. See, like that looked like an attack where, where it was suffering damage. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> All right, that, that's how you beat that thing. Oh, it's breaking my sword. My sword's almost destroyed. Oh my God, and now there's like a giant King Go Gonad. Godad? Wait, wh what did it say? The King of the Gonads? Oh my God. I'm just gonna continue to like shoot him with arrows. That seems to be doing the damage. He has he has a sensitive tummy. Okay. Continue to sh continue to spam arrows. Oh god. That. Uh, ow. <laughs> okay. So he has a few different attack modes. Good to know. We continue to attack him in his tummy. His sensitive tummy. Oh god, he's shooting bats at us. Not good. Oh god. Does he have no weaknesses? Okay, hold on. Hold on. The bats are actually a good thing because they're like spawning hearts for me. There we go. Oh yeah, there you go, buddy. Hitting you in your tummy. So I was fighting his tongue before. That thing that I was fighting was basically just his tongue. Look, I'm like trying to like hide behind him. He can't get to me. That's, that's highly effective. Just, just bounce around on the ceiling. And I think he hurt me there, actually. Okay, come on, give me give me a heart, batty. I will take a heart. Oh, there we go. Hit his, hit his tummy. Sensitive tummy. All right, come on. All right, we, how many times did we hit him? Like three times? Ow. Avoid the stuff that he's shooting at us. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't even know. This guy kind of looks like, um, like some kind of like alien or something. Like, does not necessarily look like what I would imagine is in a Zelda game. Here we go, tummy time! Right in that sensitive tummy. Jeez, how much damage does this guy take? Okay, we're down to two hearts. It's, uh... Try and like stay away from his stuff here. The the ultimate NES strategy: stay away from the stuff. Stay on the ceiling here. Here come the bats. Free health. Yes. Oh, I lost it. 
As long as long as we're we're like going even on the health, we're good. And we beat them. That wasn't too bad. The nice complicated boss fight with different phases and attacks. I like the fact that the bats showed up because they gave you health. His head literally exploded. And my sword looks cracked and damaged. Like it has seen some seen some shit. Oh, and look, it's Princess Zelda. Blue hair, eh? I mean, I have purple hair, so who am I to talk? She was hidden in a gem. And she just gets dumped on the floor. Um, and thank you for playing. Now go play the actual games. High score of 988. Legend of Zelda is copyright Nintendo. Fan game by Jokin Sandberg. And there is his website. And so that's it. The Legend of Princess. We beat it. Since we have the, since we have not seen the last few power-ups, let's just take a quick look at them. I don't think we'll go through the game one more time because we've already seen it, but you can have a chicken and a bird as your last two power-ups. It's kind of interesting. So when you go to like double jump, you actually pull out a chicken and you do, you fly. And, <laughs> oh, you can actually fly. Oh my God, we can, that means we can get that uh, other chest. Oh, you can throw them too and attack them. You can even attack your poor little chicken. And you can throw this guy. He's literally an exploding chicken. Kaboom! <laughs> These actually seem like fun power-ups. Okay, we're gonna play a bit because we can use the flying power to get to that ch that one chest we haven't been able to see. But uh, yeah, the uh, Legend of Princess here. Fan game. Um, I think this is an awesome game. You know what? I cannot remember who recommended this to me. Somebody told me I need to play the Legend of Princess. And I totally forget who said it to me or when. I just had it written down. And I actually didn't even know what it was. So I, I was like, Legend of Princess, what the heck is that? And I looked it up. And when I saw the graphics for this game, I knew I was going to play it today. I was like, oh my god, that game looks amazing. And then I found out it was a fan game. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, just some dude made this for fun. All of this. That's, that's nuts. It's literally nuts. I think this should be in an, a whole game. I think I'd make a few changes, right? Like, slow... The movement down a little bit and I might uh, it might be cool if it was a little more like uh, Zelda 2 where can we, can we get in here I, I really want to know what's going on with this like red block nothing nothing okay see how there's like some uh, torches here that aren't lit I'm convinced if you can light them somehow it like unlocks some kind of like new secret in the game but anyway, oh my god, being able to fly is so boss. Okay, it was rupees, as we expected. So that's, that's basically all. All we were missing was some rupees. Um, but yeah, I would make a few changes. I would slow the action down a bit. I would also make this similar to... Um, I would make this similar to uh, Zelda 2, where you go through like an overworld and you explore dungeons, and you can eventually get items to equip. Uh, just like in a normal Zelda game. So I wouldn't leave it as sort of the arcade variant where you just pick items and go through and play. I would reintroduce the Zelda sort of RPG elements. But if you did that, I think that would be an awesome like Game Boy Advance game. Like, look at the graphics, guys. I could totally see this being on the Game Boy Advance. I don't know about you, but uh, I could see it. Boom, we just blew that guy up with a chicken. And let's blow him up with a chicken again! <laughs> Eat chickens! Jeez, those exploding birds, whatever the heck they are, they pack quite a punch. Uh, sure, let's take some rupees. Rupees! <laughs> oh, man. It's a short game once you know what you're doing, but it's a pretty cool game. Um, let's just fly up over this. Oh, being able to fly is so convenient. And you can even, like, throw your chicken. So you can be like, ah, here, eat a chicken, and just throw it at, at uh, somebody. Oh, these... These, these water guys are the worst, though. They're the most annoying enemy in the entire game. Let's just, like, run past them. We don't need to fight them. We just need to get away from them. Anyway, have you guys ever heard of this game before? Had you played it? You know? Um, if you hadn't played it, what do you guys think of this game? Does uh, does it seem cool? Does it seem fun? I mean, I'm, I'm enamored by it. But uh, I'm curious sort of what you guys think. We are we are getting quite a bit better at this. We could probably like fly through this game in like 10 minutes if we knew what we were doing. This is the first time we had no idea. We were like learning as we went. And we were like doing pretty bad at it. But I think now we're doing better. And actually, I like the chicken. The chicken is better than the feather. Being able to fly is awesome. And then you throw the chicken in the end. It's great. Uh, just, just Link's just walking around with the chicken in his pocket. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys had fun with me checking out The Legend of Princess uh, today. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this game. And, uh, and if you guys know of any other cool fan games, um, you know, I think my channel um, will not necessarily become a channel that, uh, you know, spends too much time playing unofficial fan games and so on. But once in a while, with the right fan game, it can be kind of cool to check it out. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, surely, surely there are many different ideas for games that would make sort of, uh, you know, cool, cool sequels or whatever. And not the developers don't always make those sequels, you know. Like, um, I mean, I myself have come up with a number of ideas for games over the years, as I'm sure almost any gamer has. You know, like when I was a kid, I used to sit around and draw like Super Mario Brother one levels, and I would tell my parents that when I grew up, I was going to work for Nintendo and design Mario because that's what I wanted to do, and that never happened. Of course, but uh, I still think to this day, if I won the lottery or something, maybe I would like quit my job and start like an indie game studio because if money were no object and I could actually finance something, I would like to try and make some like fan games of not necessarily like, you know, just Mario clones or something, but like make some kind of like make, make my own game, you know, so kudos to the guy who made this. You are very impressive, sir. You made an awesome Zelda game that truly should be a real Zelda game. And uh, thank you for it. Anyway, guys, until next time, you all take care of yourselves. I hope you had fun today, and uh, we will see you soon. All right, guys. Peace.